PBT would like to say hello to everyone, this is the afternoon news. Oh to joy 3 news story of full staff replacement, Jiang Shuang vs. Liu Tao. June 21st definitely came to life. In one day, the major platforms released more than 70 documents for the film to be broadcast, and the audience almost became dazzled. Study this poster first, it's clear that the five actresses are all online, each with their own unique characteristics, but why would the editor need to make them a face, especially Yang Kaihu and Zhang Huan, it's stupid to tell the difference. With the same title but with a different lineup and plot, people can't help but evaluate this new year of beauties with the five old beauties of the previous films to see if Ode to Joy 3 can surpass the first part 2 and create another success. In the first two seasons of Ode to Joy, Liu Tao played the eldest sister and the most of the sisters. She is the CEO of an investment company and the mainstay of the sisters. She has a gorgeous look and a smart head. She is a strong woman. Liu Tao himself also has a moderate view. In the past, she's mostly played a good wife and a great mother, and playing Andy is a bit like that. However, the character design of Andy is somewhat more brilliant, and the audience still recognizes Liu Tao. But in hindsight, perhaps Liu Tao has plunged into a no-way-back path and often plays a strong woman in many dramas. Unfortunately, her acting skills are perfunctory. In Ode to Joy 3, Zhang Shuang corresponds to Liu Tao, playing the role of Yu Zhang Zhang. She is a fellow researcher in biochemistry and works in the lab all day. Zhang Shuang has acted in many dramas, but many of them are loved by the audience and are not excellent. However, there seems to be a problem with the way she performs, everything remains the same. However, in Ode to Joy 3, Zhang Shuang's background seems cold in work, vibrant in life, and having a relationship with Dao Zio, I hope she can bring back different feeling for the audience. After Hua Fei, the Fang Sheng Yi corner in Ode to Joy also became the representative role of Zhang Zin. In the play, she has a bright appearance but actually uses high-class imitations. She not only shows the arrogance and domineering of Kuang Kibang Hua, but also the complacency of Fan Sheng Wei. Actually Jiang Zin's acting skills are really good, but it's a pity that the mediocre resources and the development momentum at the later stage are not enough. In Ode to Joy 3, Yang Kai performed Fang's He Hung. She is an elite female in the financial industry, and her family background is not mentioned in the trailer, which seems completely different from a corner of Fan Sheng Wei. Yang Kai initially became a movie star, starring in Youth and If You Knows, and then switched to drama and starred in Day Jiang Day 2, however she it seems to be acting together. Since Yang Kai announced her relationship with Chen Jinfrey, her reputation has dropped a lot. I hope she can give a great performance to the audience in Ode to Joy 3 and prove herself with her abilities. With the angle of Guizai Oxiro, Wang Zuwen successfully captured a third of the acre in the hearts of the audience. The role of Guizai Oxiro is actually not easy. However, Wang Zuwen played this role as Dare to Love, Dare to Hate, and Strange, really very good. Corresponding to Wang Zuwen's Zhang Jianing, she also has excellent performances in No and Ruiyi's Royal Love with Inside the Palace. Wang Zuwen and Zhang Jianing are quite similar in appearance, they each have short plus small hairstyles. This role of Truong Jianin is called Zhu Ziechi. He is the hotel manager. He works hard and resolutely, and is very independent in life. He only has one career on his mind. Kiao Zin's Guajuer certainly became popular from the very beginning. Although his background and appearance are very good, he abides by the rule everywhere and does everything according to his promises. Zhang Huan performs Ho Min Huan in Ode to Joy 3. She is a lowercase author who was frequently bullied in the ways of her organization's predecessors. She can be compared to Guan Juer in terms of personality and appearance. It is often said that Zhang Huin was born as a seeking woman, however she has lived in seclusion for so many years, and her sources are also very mediocre. In Ode to Joy 3, the person she is now doesn't appear much anymore, I'm afraid it's very good. Yang Zi might be very suitable for the role of Qiu Yu Ying Ying. The appearance of the girl next door plus her sunny and vivacious personality makes everyone feel very close. After Ode to Joy, Yang Zi's works were also born one after another. Sweet Honey, beloved in different dramas all have differences in qualities. She was not such a silly little earthworm. Yang Zi's successor is Li Heofi, the host of the show who soon became a rave through the Mango Channel. She performs the function of Yu Chuhu, a woman who is a bit greedy for money, yet very independent. Li Heofi initially took on the role of host of Happy Cap, but unfortunately the audience was not good, and then withdrew from the program and turned to the film and television industry. She has acted in a lot of dramas, however perhaps nothing stands out. 
Furthermore, the only actor for the role of Yu Chu who became Sunjin. She became changed in the way of Li Hei Ofi two months after she joined the group. I wish that Li Hei Ofi could grasp this ability and use his power to give it to the audience. Oh De Joy 3 has nothing to do with the main films. It is not a series, however has its very own story and characters. But because it carries the call of Ode to Joy, audiences will definitely compare it with the first two seasons. From that, Ode to Joy 3 now does not have much innovation. In terms of casting, Zhang Shuai, Yang Kaiyu, and Li Hei Ofi have average popularity among the audience, Zhang Huan doesn't attract much attention, and Zhang Jianning's reputation is good, but it's hard to sustain the whole series film. In general, the new five beauties want to surpass the old five beauties that is not so easy. Thank you all for watching PVT Express News goodbye everyone.